Hello YouTube, this is EM3, Making Metal Mine. Hello YouTube, Metallic Mindstein here. And I'm sitting here at my new work table down in the studio. The studio in progress. And I have got a lot of stuff that I can cover. But we'll see what all we can get done. Because this video is going to have to be short. But I do want to get it out to you. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I want to bring to you is a tip. I know a lot of us are receiving a lot of packages. And if you're watching very many of the silver pouring videos... You know, there's a lot of people sending a package this way and a package this way. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you can pick up old postage discounted. So you go on eBay and you do a search for discount postage or discount stamps. And you can purchase them from anywhere between 60% all the way up to 80, 85. I mean, you can pay 90% of face value, but uh, you can get it a lot cheaper. So I bought these. These are both packages of 100 stamps or 100 envelopes at first class. And what it is, is it's two stamps that you have to put together to meet the first class rate. This one was when postage was 47 cents a couple days ago. And now that it's at uh, 49, we've got four cents in the back and 45 cents right there. And uh, I think these were 33, 34 dollars. Now you can use them to stamp your first class envelopes. You know, you just put two of them on there. Or since you know these don't add up yet, sorry, since these don't add up to 49 cents anymore, what I'll probably do with these is throw. Um, like, you know, 20 of them onto a, well, not a UPS, but a uh, flat rate priority box or something like that if I'm shipping a bigger item. And, you know, if you, you get the postage as close as you can to the cost that it should be, make sure you do your research because I have a couple times put too many stamps on and then you're just kind of, you know, up a creek because you can't really pull the stamps off right there at the post office and try to recycle them. So, a $13 package at 30% off is going to be about $9. So you'll save about $4 or so, maybe a little bit more than that. A $6 package is going to be about $2 off, or a $6.50, $6.50 package will be about $2 off. So you'll ship it for about $4. So it can save you a little bit of money. All right, that's my tip. Um, it's real short. I might put something out later explaining that a little bit more, but I think you should get the gist. Um, the problem you can run into is if you're just buying a bulk discount lot, you may get a ton of like four cents, two cents, six cents, things like that. And those are kind of hard to stick on your packages. So you, you're not going to have space to put too many of them. So watch out for that. All right, so I've been around at the banks the last couple of days, and I've done pretty good. I think it is $80 face value um, in dime rolls. No, it's got to be more than that. I'm pretty sure it's more than that. Uh, yeah, it's got to be more than that. So I'm throwing myself off. Got some halves, a box of pennies. And I'm pretty sure, since these came from the same bank, that these are going to be the 2017... D mint. Now, if you guys hadn't seen some of the videos out there telling you on the 2017 Philadelphia mint, if you can get a solid roll of the pennies, uh, they are selling for a huge premium on eBay right now. A uh, great flipping opportunity. They're going to come down in price. It's going to drop like a bomb. Um, but if you can find those with the P on it, 2017 Shield Cents with a P mint mark for Philadelphia and flip those on eBay. You can do real good. Got a box of half dollars that we're not going to go through tonight. Have a, I don't know what you'd call it. I mean, it's okay. It's a Ram, but I mean, I was going to say courageous, but that's not quite the word. 
uh, but I saw it in an antique store for $12. Pay too much for it, I think, but I love it. So in that case, no, I didn't pay too much. Next update. So I had put the put it out a while ago about the Sons of Liberty Mint and their fractional silver squares, their quarter ounces. Um, they recently have been going through some changes. You know, one of them said that they're not taking um, credit card orders for the next month. Like they maxed out their account that they had with the credit card company or something like that. And then I also heard that they're going to um, only deal with bullion distributors. Like they're not going to sell to the public anymore. That's really weird because they did make a whole bunch of new uh, customers whenever they had their sale going on at the beginning of the year or the end of last year. So I hope that's not the case, but they're still trying to figure some things out. So if you go over there and try to check them out, you might get frustrated. I know JM Bullion has their products, but it has a little bit more of a markup. So that's why I had the video at the beginning with an empty bag. Let's hope that they come through this and they come out stronger and everything and they still can offer the fractional bullion at a super cheap price because that was awesome. Uh, my kids are going to go through the dimes and search them for silver dimes. Um, I'm still going to try and see if I can't flip this box of pennies on eBay. Uh, maybe at about a $20 profit. We'll see. Um, and then I picked up some Walking Liberty half dollars today. Uh, paid a little bit more than what I was hoping to. But I had bought some from this gentleman before, and they were really nice walking liberties. You know, a lot of times you'll get them, they are fairly worn out. Um, I have quite a few walking liberties, so I didn't need these, but uh, I was actually selling him some gold, and so we ended up working a trade. I'm going to look through these. Um, sorry about that. Look through these, and... Uh, show you some of the nice ones that I find. So the video is already going longer than what I wanted it to. Monarch Precious Metals. Why did I bring this up? I was just going through some stuff and I pulled this one out. Um, I have a 100 ounce Monarch Precious Metals bar that is serial numbered uh, 0004. If there's anybody that's big into serial numbers and collecting and everything, um, send me a private message if that bar is something that you would be willing to pay a premium on. Um, I have uh, bought quite a bit of fractional silver lately, and so I kind of need to sell that bar, um, keeping my stack amount the same, but um, but in the fractionals. So if anybody is, is interested in a 100-ounce uh, Monarch Precious Metals bar with the extremely low serial number, um, poured bar, uh, the brick style, let me know. I've got a YPS grab bag. Um, this is my second one of these. Uh, I guess let's just go ahead and tear into this. Like I say, I'm trying to get a lot done, so I'm probably not going to get the, uh, the Walking Liberties uh, sorted. Or I'll just bring that in. At the end. Yep, I guess it's going to be a 10 minute video. So sorry for misleading you at the beginning. Hmm. Just can't figure out how to uh, cram all this stuff in in a short amount of time. What did we get? Looks good. Silver Addict. Awesome. Yes. That is very cool. I'm getting notifications on my phone over there. Little cube. Awesome. I love the cubes. Another one. What is this? The two ounce? Where is it at? Where is it? Yes. Two ounce. Awesome. That is that is cool. Look at this bar. It's a Kit Kat bar. A four ounce Kit Kat bar. That is cool. Very cool. We've got more cubes. I'm loving it. These little tiny cubes, it's like dice. I don't know if anybody's made them, but they ought to make them as dice. That is cool. Button, got a little button here. That's just a half ounce. 
Dude, I did great with this uh, with this grab bag. This is awesome. That is very awesome. One ounce, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ounces. That is very cool. I got these. I think it was uh, when he had a sale. I think I got it at like uh, nineteen dollars an ounce. Uh, it might have been. Yeah, I think it was nineteen or or nineteen fifty an ounce. One hundred ninety-five dollars. I forget, but that's awesome. I'm really pleased with that little package from YPS. Thank you, Mr. Yeager. All 